What's good? It's Creative Kira here, back with another video. So I'm not looking like my fabulous self today because I've been doing a lot of hard work in this rental unit. As you can see, these nice great cabinets behind me is what all this video is about. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can paint laminate cabinets in one day and make them look factory finished. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below what you think about these cabinets if you think you can do it too. And let's get into it. Hey guys, so we are going to be refinishing these laminate cabinets. You see there's like two sets of cabinets and as you can already see, I started roughing them up with um, sand, a sander and sandpaper. What I'm using is 3M 100 or medium grit. Uh, we have 100 medium grit sand uh, sanding disc. I don't know why I can't think of the name. This is my little Walmart sander. And we are going to be transforming these cabinets and these cabinets in one day. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process here. I really need to get on this and not be like recording every little single thing, but you're gonna hear this loud noise and that's just me with my sander getting these cabinets ready. So all you really need to do is just rough them up because laminate doesn't have a surface for the paint to stick on. So what you're doing is just sanding them gently down so that the paint has somewhere to stick. cabinets are all sanded and roughed up you can see literally my little round sander marks so they're looking pretty good they'll be able to take paint pretty good um, so I got to do these two up here the bottom set um, and this got to fix that lazy Susan in there uh, they, oh, I didn't mention I got to shoot them be for a rental property so i um, gonna be fixing these up adding knobs and I'll be back once I start so we got everything tarped up because it's a hell of a pain to get paint off of stuff. Now we are not removing these cabinets just because of the date, how old they are and the shape of them. Um, but we're gonna hit the top ones first and then lift up the tarp and tape it to the top of them and do the bottom ones. So let's get into it. So unlike walls when painting cabinets, you really wanna go light on the paint. So. As you can see, I'm not saturating the roller. Like, it barely has any paint on there. I'm just like, just like and sorry if you hear the talking in the background. You know, this is a construction site. We had electricians and all types of people in and out of here. So, a little bit different than I usually do. But you see how you can still see the, the yellow color of the, um, the roller. And nicely just start rolling on the cabinets and you see how because we sanded it how the paint is sticking it's not dripping or rolling or doing anything crazy it's literally just sticking to the to the cabinet so i'm gonna go ahead and get with it and i'll be back with you guys i don't think you guys want to see me paint well actually you know what this is about painting the cabinet, so I'm gonna show you. You see how we get these big dips? You don't want that. You want nice, even strokes on the cabinet because you're gonna have to do a second coat. You know, this is not a one coat, one time thing. So you wanna go nice and thin so that, cause we're doing this in one day so that the coats can dry quickly in between. And you can go back and do it again. And you see, even though we put such little paint on there, see how that paint is gathering? Because again, this is laminate. So you have to use only a little bit of paint and spread it across the whole cabinet. Sorry guys, I'm painting. I left my tripod at home. 
So I'm painting and holding the camera all in one. And this quick, this quick, look how, look how good that looks. All right guys, so what cabinet one is almost complete. I'm gonna do, like I said, a very light with the paint. And this paint, we got a dark base. Oh, I meant to say that. So we're using um, bare urethane all semi-gloss enamel. So this is made for like uh, actual cabinets and wood and trim. So this is a special paint and we got a dark base. Um, so what a dark base means is that you can get a nice dark color on the paint. So, and look at this with just one coat. Look how good that looks. Yeah, you see the holes and the bubbles, but we're not gonna saturate this with paint. We're just gonna move on to the next one. And like I said, this brush is almost dry. So, and that's how we're gonna keep it throughout this whole process. See, like, look at this right here. See how that big clump of paint? We don't want that. I'll roll it out so it's nice and thin. And we're gonna start on cabinet number two. I really love this color. It's called Shadow Mountain by Bear. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Important part of making the laminate cabinets look really like factory finish is I paint it, but what I'm doing, my assistant is going back through with a dry roller. It looks like it has paint on it, but it doesn't. Um, but she's taking a dry roller and going back and rolling over the paint that I painted so it's a nice smooth finish. Like, so for instance, look how flat this cabinet looks compared to this one that still needs to be rolled. It has, it's very textured and needs some attention. So that's my suggestion as you go, you paint first with very, very, very light paint. And then you go back over with a dry roller with no paint on it and smooth out the finish. So when you add your second coat, you don't have to do any more and it's like a factory finish. So we are getting there with the first level. And again, we gotta paint all the outsides and all that good stuff. And we gotta paint the bottom as well, but we are getting there. We're only about an hour in, so we're making some good progress. And Okay, party people, so we are about halfway there. These are what the cabinets up top used to look like. And this is how they look now. They look two-toned, but it's because half the paint is dry, half the paint is wet. I've gone in and did a second coat. And guys, look it up close and personal. It looks so good. These, let me just show you. This, uh, no texture, no sliding. Nothing, and again guys, these are laminate counters, or cabinets, so it's looking hella good. These bottom ones are gonna be 10 times easier because the, big, the spaces in between are way wider. They're wood, so literally they're gonna be able to take them in much easier. They're gonna take the paint much better. So I'm about to take a little lunch break. Again, it's only been about two hours so you can definitely complete this project in one day i'm gonna finish the second coat up on these finish up top here all right guys we have gotten so far into this i forgot to record painting the bottom half but same thing going over the paint with a very lightly painted brush and then or sorry using a very light amount of paint on the cabinets then going back with a, a dry brush and getting all off the access and this is how they're looking. Pretty much everyone is painted. Just gotta do the edging on that one. Finish the bottom and we're done and we're still on day one. Okay guys, day two. The painting is officially done. We just gotta clean up and put the knobs on. Usually most people can do this in one day because you don't have to drill holes for knobs. But if you do, I mean, I could have got it done in one day, but your girl was tired. So look how flawless they look great color a few touch-ups here and there but honestly it's a great um great result 
Can't wait to see you guys see with all the knobs on. And I mean, they look amazing. What you guys think? Comment down below and let me know. Okay guys, as you can see, all the painting is done. The cabinets look amazing. This is my solution so that they wouldn't stick to, the paint wouldn't stick to the inside of the cabinet. So I just put a cup there. Um, but anywho, so now I'm putting on the knobs. It's super easy. This one has just some wood filler underneath it because I'm uh, filling in a little chip space there. Um, so I want to show you my method to make it really easy to make sure that every knob is at the same height and size each time. So what I did was I took two pieces of painter's tape, one to this side to be able to pull the tape off of the cabinet and this side to measure. So what I do is I've taken this piece of tape and it has to line up with the bottom of the cabinet. And then each time that I do the hole, each time that I drill the hole, it'll be uh, aligned perfectly. So like I'll show you this one and then I'll show you how I just flip it over and do it on this side and get the holes aligned perfectly. So using my drill, about to drill a hole and then I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so I got my drill. I got my one and one eighth inch. Uh, why can't I think of the names of anything right now? My drill bit or whatever. So you see my already pre-made hole. It makes it so simple. I literally just go in. Oh, if I had the drill going the right way, it would work. Hold up, hold up. I can't do this in record, guys. So it's just me drilling a hole. The part that's magic. This is my little measuring tool. So now I just pop this off, got my first hole made, and literally pop this baby right back on, line up the end of the tape with the bottom. And we have two identically spaced holes without measuring and all that extra crap. So I'm gonna continue going and I'll show you guys how, ooh, I'm not doing good recording today. I'll show you how I put on the knobs. Okay, so I drilled my holes with my amazing um, love, I, my words have lost for me today. So I, you know, drill my even holes. So now literally all you gotta do is, it's kind of turning it this way. All you gotta do is take this, um, the screw to put on the knob, literally put it in the back of the hole here and just screw it through. Boom. Then I just grab out of my bag of knobs here. Hey guys, you can get these if you go to like um, Habitat, they always have bags of knobs for a heck of cheap. Just take it. And screw it on and that's it. That's just how simple you can do this. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm.